All right, so I'm messing around with this uh, QRM eliminator, and uh, I've got it in line with this ICOM 718. I've got a lot of QRM here living in town. Um, so I've got everything hooked up. I think I've got it dialed in pretty well. I just want to kind of show what I've been able to accomplish thus far. So let me turn the noise blanker off. So you can hear that. Now if I just come over here and turn on, let's see where are we at with that. We're S8, S9. We're gonna turn the QRM eliminator on. And we're down to S5, S6, who came up to S7. I was down S5, but it's gotten a little noisier. So now if I use that in combination with the noise blinker. I can actually hear stations down in the weeds there. Now this thing's a little fiddly. And one of the things I didn't want to do was I didn't want to bring this gain. This is your main antenna here. So it's basically acting like an attenuator. I don't want to bring that any further down than I have to because I don't want to lose that gain. So just kind of messing with it. And I don't have a waterfall, which would have made it this easier. But noise blanker on and turning the QRM off. You see there were S... 7, S, 8. There was a net on this frequency earlier. And let's blink her off. Let's see if we can catch this uh, CQ. I'm not using the ATT. I'm not using the noise reduction. This is just a combination of the QRM eliminator and the noise blinker. QRM off. QRM on. I'm sure I could do more fine tuning. My reference uh, antenna here, or my antenna for the uh, um, the signal is just a two meter little whip. I'm getting a, uh, a little, uh, HF whip that I'm going to put outside. Uh, so I pick up more of the noise. So this is kind of test one. All right. I found, uh, the YL systems net and right now noise blanker and QRM is on. Off. On. Off. On. Doesn't get rid of everything. And we'll see what happens when I get a better antenna for the receive side. Right, so kind of phase two here, and I've got this really, really cheap, like $20, $30 mini whip active antenna supposed to be real noisy um, which is perfect uh, so I'm gonna try using this outside of the shack with the two meter whip inside of the chat uh, shack on a T because uh, it's receive only uh, so I'm uh, see what kind of uh, noise I can eliminate uh, both from inside and outside all right just kind of for reference here you can see that that T 
uh, a cable going down there, uh, that cheap, cheap cable there that goes out to that whip antenna. And I still got the, uh, the two meter whip here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm picking up quite a bit of uh, QRM uh, from inside of the shack. And so I'm leaving that, I wanna leave that whip antenna. All right, so just a quick uh, test here with the uh, two antennas. Um, kind of a quiet day, really. Uh, that popping sound, uh, that is from within the house somewhere. Uh, I figured that much out, but I haven't figured out the cause yet. But I can pretty well eliminate that with the noise blinker. So I'm really just concerned about the uh, the other QRM. Uh, so there's the, with the noise blanker off, if you can hear that popping noise on top of the other background noise, noise blanker off, and now I'm going to turn the QRM eliminator on, so that's with the whip and the whip, uh, the inside whip and the outside whip. Okay, all I've done now is disconnect the outside whip. Uh, it's just sitting up above a window. I just disconnected that. I'm going to turn the QRM eliminator on. That is just the internal whip, uh, or inside whip, I should say. So you can see there is a lot of the QRM that I'm experiencing is actually from inside of the house. Um, much to my chagrin, uh, <laughs> and I have to start dealing with that. I've already found some really noisy LEDs. Um, but this is definitely, uh, help isolate where some of my noise sources are. Uh, but that's just the two meter whip on and off. And you can see, I've had to make some slight adjustments, uh, on the phase, the two phase or the receive only antenna and the, uh, phase, uh, knob there. Um, I had to make those adjustments after I added the uh, external whip. So there we go with the external whip reconnected, uh, QRM eliminators on. I'm certain that there's more adjustments I can do here to take advantage of the two antennas uh, for picking up the QRM. But I can say that uh, during this last field day, uh, this helped a lot. I was able to pick up stations I don't think I would have been able to uh, make a good copy on. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, this is KI5MEL73 and uh, see you down the log.